Hey everyone, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com. Today I want to go over how to build a NEMA network using the NEMA starter system. Um, not every application or not every system with Lowrance Electronics necessarily needs a NEMA starter system or NEMA 2000 system, uh, which is the same thing by the way. But uh, for some application to do, whether you're running a spotlight scan transducer, um, 0.1 GPS antenna, and some units actually, uh, the older Elite um, HDI units, the Elite TI units, don't have an Ethernet port capable of networking, so you've got to use the NEMA system. So what I've got to start with here, the package, this is a NEMA starter system, and it comes with two T connections, a two foot drop down cable, a power cable anode for the NEMA system, and a 15 foot one, and a 15 foot NEMA cable. And something else I recommend is either another uh, two foot drop down cable, depending on your application, and I'll go over that today. The important thing to remember is this system has to have its own power supply source. It has to be powered up. It only gets power through the power anode that's a part of this kit. So just using T connections, just running the cables between the units will not work because it's not powered up. The easiest way for me to build a network system is to actually lay it on the front deck of the boat Make sure everything is capped off, and I do this on every new boat install before we run it through the boat. It's much easier to trace down a problem or solve it with it laid out on the top of the deck versus when it's actually starting to run through the boat, whether it's through conduit that's already there or if you've got a zip tie to other wiring through there. So what I'm going to start with is a 15-foot NEMA cable, and you can call it an extension cable. I just call it a 15-foot cable. This is what's going to run from the console unit to the bow unit. So I'm going to lay out our cable here. There's 15 feet. That's going to go to the bow unit, and this one's going to stay back here. Next, I'm going to grab a T connector. The important thing to remember about this T connector is I'm going to run the 15 foot into the end of the T connection. And why I am doing that is so that from the top section, I can utilize the two foot drop down cable that will plug into my unit. So each component of this system, whether it's a HDS unit, elite unit, a point one spotlight scan must go through a T connection. I cannot plug this cable directly into the back of the unit, even if I have a power supply source somewhere else. So this section here is going to go to the graph, the unit itself. Now, as you can see, I've got an open end on this T connection. I like to run the power supply underneath the dash. One, because nine times out of 10, it's normally open. It's easily accessible if I've got a fuse that goes out, or if I need to access to try to diagnose something while on the water, I don't have to try to take a front panel off. So that being said, this is our power anode, and I'm going to run this on the end that goes underneath the dash here. So, power supply underneath the dash, unit, the graph, the HDS, Elite, however, whatever units you're running, 15 footer to go to the front unit. Now, once we go to the front unit, that's gonna require another T connection. Go into the front, the front end, again, going to go into the side of the T connector. Now don't shoot me, I don't have another two foot drop down cable, but I got another 15 footer. So what I'm gonna utilize here is a 15 foot cable coming in from the top of the T connection. This will have up front, so it'll be all hidden, being all nice and pretty. This is going to the graph, but now I've got an open end on a T connection. You cannot have an open end on a closed system to get power supply to make everything function. So, in that NEMA starter kit is a couple of these ohm resistors. You have to use these caps to cap off your T connection. So we have closed end going to the unit, going to our 15 foot cable. This goes up front. Up front section is now done. That is now complete. Cable that will be running through the conduit through the side of the boat. Again going to the graph and this right here going for power. 
Now, if you had some other system on here, like a point one antenna, you can have your point one antenna come down into a, another T connection right here. So you can add on as many of these T connections and components as you have. The important thing is it has to be capped off and has to have power. That is the most important features of this NEMA system for it to work properly. So again, if you had a point one antenna, we'd simply undo this power connection here. We'd slide another T connector on here. The point one would come in from the top and we'd power the system up on the other side of the T. So if any of you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comment section on this video. Thanks for checking out this video and thanks for seeing us at RussellMarineProducts.com.